Today is what I'm going to do is teach or give a rundown on how to utilize JunoSwap. JunoSwap is basically a new um, DEX or decentralized exchange that will be going mainnet within probably the next one to two weeks tops. Um, the importance of learning how to utilize JunoSwap is is that when these swaps or these DEXs first launch, the APRs for providing liquidity are the highest. Um, a quick example of this is when Osmosis first launched, the APRs within, if you go over here and go to the pools, some of these pools, the APRs were thousands of percent. We're talking 2,500% at some times. And so, Today, I want to just make sure we all have a, a foundation and an understanding of how to utilize, how to get funds over to JunoSwap in order to capitalize on those enhanced incentives or the heightened APR. And so in order to do this, we need Juno because that's the native currency of the Juno chain. So is what we'll do is the first thing we have to do is make sure we have some um, Atom over here. And then you can see that I already swapped for some Juno. But to give you guys a, a show, I did deposit Adam from the Kepler wallet onto Osmosis. And then we'll just deposit half over, or rather convert half over into Juno. And we just hit swap. So now we're converting the Adam into the Juno. <clears throat> Wait for this to go through. And then once this goes through, we will have additional Juno. And there it goes, it just turned into the 9.5. We need to withdraw this to get it back into our Kepler wallet. So we'll withdraw max. Okay, wait for this to go through. And so now is what we're doing is we're taking it off the Osmos or Osmosis chain. We're putting it into the Kepler wallet, which is the interchain wallet. And now once we have it in our Kepler wallet, we can give this a refresh and we can go down to Juno right here and we can look at once this changes, basically from zero, then we know that the withdrawal was successful. There it is. We have 9.5 Juno here. So now we're ready. Okay. We can connect our wallet here. And you can see that the Kepler wallet um, over here on Juno Swap does demonstrate that we have the 9.5. And so now for us to know how to add liquidity, we'll run through that now. Um, and like in my Osmosis video, kind of getting the first, the basic rundown of how to utilize Osmosis and add liquidity and start earning and achieving the APRs and uh, getting those uh, rewards. We'll basically do the same exact thing here. So we want to add liquidity, but in order to add liquidity, we have to have 50 50 of each asset, meaning right now I have 100% of Juno. So we're going to go to the swap. And because I want to add to the Adam Juno pair, we need to make sure that we go to our Juno and then we'll just select half and we'll actually do a little bit less because we need gas. Gas is basically the fee that we pay in transaction in order to help make the transaction go through. There's always a little bit of a fee. So we're going to swap 4.7 of our 9.5 Juno to get 2.5 Atom. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Wait for this to go through. And it looks like it went through because now our Juno is down to 4.79. So now we'll go ahead and go add liquidity. So now we're gonna go from the swap tab down to the liquidity tab. We're gonna click on the pair that we wanna add the 50-50 of the asset to. Notice it's 0% APR right now. Mainnet Juno swap goes live in one to two weeks max. And so we wanna make sure we're in position. So let's go ahead and add some liquidity. We'll add liquidity here. And then we'll just provide the max. And notice that we're putting 4.6392 Juno. And that's just because we wanna make sure that we have enough Juno on the Juno chain in order to pay for gas moving forward. Say I wanted to take the, uh, take the liquidity out, then I would have gas in order to pay for the transaction fees, okay? So now we're adding the liquidity here. Wait for this to go through. And you can see that the transaction was successful and we were able to add $163 of total liquidity with the underlying assets being 4.6 Juno and 2.5 Atom. 
And this is good because now we're ready to go to start earning those rewards as soon as JunoSwap goes live.